Hi, my name is Kate and this video is for anyone who wants to receive inner healing and freedom. I'm going to be giving you some powerful steps and prayers so that you can walk in freedom from anger, bitterness, depression, and more. Everyone alive has experienced some level of soul wounding or hurts and offenses. It's simply part of living in a fallen, broken world. And the problem is when we get hurt, we tend to hurt other people. So inner healing and deliverance is what is needed to get free and to live in the abundant overflow of God's love, peace, and freedom that He has for your life while still living in a fallen, broken world. First off, this healing begins at the foot of the cross of Jesus Christ. So if you've never surrendered your life to Jesus and been born again, take a moment, watch the video that I'm pinning on this video right now, and then return to this video. All right, so if you're here, I'm assuming that you've been born again, you've given your life to Jesus Christ. So now we can move into the steps that are going to help you find real inner healing and freedom. All information in this video is from the book, Freedom from Soul Wounds and Demons, Your Breakthrough to True Peace and Joy by Nelson Schumann. There will be a link for this book in the description below this video. As we go through these steps, keep in mind that your process for healing may just take some time. There's no rush. Just ask the Holy Spirit to help you and take as much time as you need. Also, in the description of this video is a sheet that I created that you can print out as a worksheet to work along with. So print this out first and then come back to this video. After each step, pause the video and then restart it when you have completed the step. After all 11 steps, make sure you stay all the way through to the end of this video because I'm going to walk you through prayers and pray over you and it's going to be so powerful for your breakthrough. Before we begin, I want to pray over you right now, so simply close your eyes and take a deep breath and receive this prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask you by the power of the Holy Spirit to help the person watching this to be able to get completely healed and set free through this process of inner healing. I ask you to draw close to this person and give them the strength that they need to walk through each step hold them close and bring them revelation so they can walk as a brand new creation full of joy, love, and compassion. And they can in turn be someone who walks other people through healing. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. All right, let's dive in. The first step to receiving your freedom and healing is to understand that not only are we in a fallen world, but we are also in the middle of a spiritual war. Ephesians 6.12 says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. The reason that anything bad has ever happened to you is because there is a devil and demons that absolutely hate you. And since they are spirits, they unleash this hate on you through humans. People under demonic influence do demonic things. This is going to help you tremendously to be able to forgive everyone who's hurt you. The other important thing to remember is that whoever hurt you was more than likely hurt when they were younger. Whether physically, emotionally, or sexually, they were hurt and they were never truly healed. And we already said that hurt people hurt people. So now I'm going to give you the steps and you'll want to write the answers down on the sheet that I gave you or just a piece of paper. We're going to start at the beginning of your life. Step number one, people often get hurt when they are in their mother's womb. So you'll want to think back and as much information as you know, um, go ahead and answer these questions. How did your parents treat each other while your mother was pregnant with you? either while she was pregnant with you or as you were a very small child, a baby. 
If you're aware of any wounds or trauma, this will explain why you struggle with various things in your life such as rejection, loneliness, having fear, or anxiety. Did your parents love each other or did they fight a lot? Was there abuse of illegal substances or alcohol? Did your father or mother actually want you or not? Was there a traumatic birth when you were born? Write down all of the various wounds that you are aware of. And also write down how it, it makes you feel, made you feel at the time, whatever you can remember or think about. Go ahead and do that now, pause the video, and then play when you're done. Step number two. Now I want you to write down all of the significant wounds or traumas that happened to you by your parents or any caregivers while you were growing up. If they hurt you often, just write down what general feelings you had when you remember the various wounds that you received from your parents or caregivers. Later, we will go back and have Jesus show you your father, your mother from his perspective so that you will know of the various wounds they suffered in order so that you can have compassion for them instead of anger, hatred, or bitterness, and you'll be able to truly forgive them from your heart. All right, step number three, write down all of the times that you were exposed to anything sexual as a child, either through another person or by watching something or seeing something that you shouldn't have. Note that if this has happened to you and there has been a violation in this way, there will often be a struggle with purity um, unless you receive healing and deliverance. So go ahead and do that now and then push play when you're done. Step number four, write down how you were treated at school. Were you bullied? Did, you, did people make fun of you or harass you? Were you exposed to things that you shouldn't have been? All of these are soul wounds that will affect you and give demons legal rights to come into your life. Step number five, write down anything else traumatic that has happened to you in your life. Car accidents, um, sports injuries, natural disasters, anything that has caused trauma or any other people that have hurt you or wounded you, go ahead and write it down and write down your feelings while, while those things were happening. Step number six, write down any time that you were involved in the occult, seances, witchcraft, astral projection, divination, Ouija boards, tarot cards, etc. You will need to repent to God for any of these types of activities. God forbids all of these activities. He calls witchcraft an abomination. And he warns us not to participate in divination. So you'll want to say this out loud. God, I repent from, and then go ahead and say what it is, what the occult activity was. You also want to say, I renounce that activity. I renounce my involvement in the Ouija board, for example. And then say, I ask God, I ask you, God, for your forgiveness today. And I cut ties with all of these ties to the demonic realm today in the name of Jesus. Step number nine. Once you have identified your main wounds to your soul and all of those who have wounded you, it's time to ask Jesus to come and speak to you and show you each person who hurts you from his perspective. We are going to begin walking towards forgiveness for each person and it's important to keep in mind that if you don't forgive you yourself will not be forgiven according to Matthew 6 14 have Jesus show or speak to you about why your parents hurt you Jesus will show you and you will see that they were most likely hurt as a child or they were exposed to things as a child that they shouldn't have been Start with your father and ask Jesus to show you what may have happened to him as a child that hurt him. Then go ahead and move to your mother and so on. Do this for each person that you have written down that has hurt you. We're not releasing forgiveness just yet. Just ask Jesus to show you what happened to them. Take your time, close your eyes, put this video on pause and have Jesus show you that now. Step number 10. Now you're going to begin to separate yourself from the soul wounds. Go through each person that hurt you, starting with your father, and you're going to say this out loud. I separate all demonic spirits from my soul that came from my father. Do this with each person that hurt you. Say it out loud. I separate all demonic spirits from my soul from, and then say their name. Step number 11, the great exchange. 
all of the negative feelings that came from all of these wounds and traumas, it's now time to give them to Jesus. Everything that you wrote down, I want you to look at all of those feelings, those negative feelings. You don't need to carry these feelings anymore or be burdened by them. Jesus says, come to me all you who are weary and burdened and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me for I am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Take all of the emotions that you wrote down from the hurt and the pain and the trauma and close your eyes. Say, Jesus, I give you all of my fear, my anxiety, my rejection, my pain, my frustration, my sadness, my depression, etc. Take your time and let it all out. Really see yourself holding all of those negative things, pulling them out of your gut, and then actually giving them to Jesus. And see Him taking all of it from you. Once you've given all of these negative emotions to Jesus, then say to Him, Jesus, I receive from you your perfect love, your perfect peace, your acceptance, your joy. I receive you as a perfect loving Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your healing power. Step number 12. Now it's time to verbally forgive each person. Ask God to give you the strength and know that you can do all things through Christ who gives you strength. You will need to go through each person that hurts you and forgive them. You will feel lighter and better after each time you forgive someone, your soul will begin to be healed. You may yawn, burp, cough, or even throw up. It's okay. Just let it all out. Here is an example of what to say. I choose to forgive my father for all that he did to hurt me and for not loving me the way that I needed. I ask you, God, to heal my soul wounds and I command all demons attached to my soul from these hurts to go to the pit now in Jesus' name. Then do the same thing with your mother and anyone else that may have hurt you through your life. Take your time. There is no limit to getting your soul wounds healed and you may only be able to do a few at a time. It's okay. You will know that your soul wounds are healed when you can remember the various hurtful things that the person said or did without having feelings of anger, bitterness, or tears anymore. If you still struggle with someone who hurt you, then ask the Lord to show you more until you can get to the place where you have compassion for that person. When you can picture sitting next to the person and not wanting to hurt them, but instead having compassion for them, then you will know that you are free in that area of your soul. If you still feel anger and bitterness, ask the Lord to help you and repeat steps 9 through 12 again. Understand that forgiving someone does not excuse their actions. It simply sets you free. And know that every person that has hurt you, whether it was a big hurt or a small hurt, they will be held accountable to God for their actions and their words. Now, I'm going to pray over you. Close your eyes. Receive this prayer. Take a deep breath. I pray over the person watching this. Lord, I ask you to fill them up with your peace and with your love and with your joy. I speak to every demonic entity that has tormented them and I command them to go and leave their life completely. I break generational curses off of this person today. I decree and declare that this person is free by the precious blood of Jesus, that you shall walk as a brand new creation full of love and joy and compassion for other people. You shall be someone that also helps other people get healed and set free. Jesus, I thank you that you are a perfect heavenly father and you love this person so much. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. I pray that you find your complete healing and freedom. And if this has blessed you, and if you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe right now. I live stream all of the time and I would love to get to know you. You can learn more about this ministry. All of the links are below this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless you.